From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your afternoon update. Hey folks, good afternoon. I'll tell you what, it's already warmer than models suggested yesterday. You know, this morning we were talking about the possibility of getting near 50 in some spots, but we're already at 56 in Florence, so the models were definitely cooler than we anticipated for today. They did pick up on the winds pretty nicely, 10 to 15 miles an hour right now. Generally out of the north and northwest, it's a little bit variable right now, but we'll be picking up more southerly winds as time goes on. 51 degrees here in Lawrenceburg at the moment with a 33 dew point, so it's kind of dry out there, and of course those gusts Definitely make a good chapstick weather, that much is for sure. The chapstick companies love this sort of deal. Then we're going to be continuing to uh, pretty much hold these nice conditions. That really is the best point I could make there. That high pressure system doing us a lot of favors, keeping the clouds mostly at bay, keeping rain at bay for the foreseeable future, at least for the next couple of days. And let me check it out there. We're kind of right there on the precipice, right? We're not necessarily in the 40s. We're not necessarily squarely in the 60s. But, you know, we're probably going to end up with some mid to upper 50s, pretty widespread across the area as we head through today. If we take a look at the future cast, you can see what it's talking about here. And it was suggesting those, you know, kind of upper 40s, lower 50s range. To be honest with you, I think it's underdoing it a few degrees. So keep that in mind. We'll probably call it 55, 56, maybe up to 58 degrees across the area. Wind staying sharp out of the north. That's the uh, big change. I think that's going to come out of the south here as we head through tonight. And then into tomorrow morning, especially, that's what's going to be the key for our warming trend. Notice by tomorrow morning, right, as we're heading to church, wind is already at the south and southeast. So we're going to be warming up. Sure, we'll be about freezing, if not below freezing, by about 6. But then we warm right back up into the 50s, 60s across the area when all of a sudden done with it. I'm thinking lower to mid 60s, pretty widespread for our Sunday. Mostly dry out there, cloud cover looking likely. And then we get back into the 70s as we head through Monday, through Tuesday. And then we start to taper off Wednesday. And it looks like through the latter half of Wednesday, we're talking past midday into the evening. Front moves through, we cool back down into the 50s for the daytime highs towards the end of the week and get back into those low temperature regimes of you know 30s and 40s for the overnight lows and 50s for the daytime highs. But in the meantime, it looks like pretty much dry for the next couple of days. I'm talking at least through Sunday. You notice there might be a couple of showers due to that warm air coming into the Tennessee Valley Monday, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal. I think the highest rain chances are with that frontal passage and behind it as we head through Wednesday and towards Thursday night and Friday. So it looks like we might actually pick up a little bit more unsettled weather with that frontal passage associated with that. But widespread 50s, yeah, I think you can expect that today. Some of us probably be 58, 59 degrees definitely warmer than anticipated today. And then through tomorrow, well, check out those mid to upper 60s across the area. All bets are off through the week. We're going to be in the 70s Monday and Tuesday. And then, like I said, I think especially Wednesday and beyond that. That's when the more widespread rain comes in. But a couple showers are possible Monday and Tuesday as well. So we're going to hold those chances there. I just don't think that's going to be quite as widespread. Definitely a bit of a variable week. That much is for sure. But the next couple of days looking pretty much as good as you could ask for for a weekend in February. Thanks for watching this forecast update. Of course, I'll be back with you at 6 for more, fresh from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, and God bless.